Wagwan, Wagwan. <laughs> no, Wagwan, everybody. Um, welcome back to our channel. Obviously, as you guys know, uh, many of you guys know, we got married Wait. in Jamaica. <laughs> Proceed. Bless you. We just got married in Jamaica or a couple months ago. Uh, obviously, we're back in Sweden, so. We thought it'd be suitable to give you a little status update. Yeah, just like a bit more of a life update and um, looking back at our time spent in Jamaica uh, with your family, my family, the things we've done and so on. Because I feel like we haven't, we weren't able to document as much as we would have liked to while we're there because we were so like. Yeah, overwhelmed just, with yeah. the preparations and everything it's like we start with filming certain things but it's like we realize oh we don't have a full vlog just a piece of a vlog so we're just gonna take a look back at some of those uh, moments i mm -hmm. guess and also uh give you a little insight uh into our upcoming fall the next months ahead of us yeah a little future plan so if you're curious to hear what we'll be up to uh, this fall, I think you guys will really find it interesting. Uh, just to make sure. Yeah, I find it interesting. It's gonna be. I mean, we have dropped hints about this before, but in a different way. Um, have we? Have yes, we? we have. It was right. one time when we were in Spain and we were talking about mm. something specific that we would like to do with our future. But it's just that that specific thing will be similar but not exactly but anyway if you're curious to know what that is make sure you stick around to the end of this video right. and i'm and gonna say something that usually kimalta says remember to subscribe because yeah. if you don't find this video worth subscribing i think maybe next video will be worth subscribing to. so <laughs> yeah click all those buttons today and subscribe and do all those yeah things. subscribe click the notification bell and leave a comment <laughs> yeah. all right let's get into this video guys before we get into the video we want to first thank two of our subscribers while we were there in jamaica after a wedding we received these lovely cups as wedding gift um from miss faye and her daughter Kamoi. So if you're watching this, it's a bit late, but still, I've said already thank you to Kamoi to you. But we want to do it on the YouTube channel because you deserve to get that attention. That's really sweet of you. Uh, so yeah, big thanks. And I've been enjoying my cup. I drink <laughs> to chocolate tea from this a lot. <laughs> so I can confirm that. Yeah, and now we're having every fever, time, fever grass tea. Yeah, every time it's tea time or so, it's. It's this yeah, cup that's I really, really like it. Mouth. It just feels really personal. I like personal gifts. Thank you. Right. All what? right. So, um, to our first step in looking back, I feel it's cool or good that we talk about just how things have evolved for us um, the past four, four and a half years from so being mean, so from being long. For, sorry, distance for being long distance couple and you know, usually uh, it's one of us that always have to leave each other. But this time when we went to Jamaica, it was the both of travel. us. We got yeah, to travel together back. and back for the first yeah, time. Back and forth. That was a real luxury for us. Yeah. Usually it's goodbye uh, one way or the other. Yeah. So this was amazing. Yeah. With my family With also. With your family going, yeah. So it's like, uh uh, it's the two of us this time. You're not leaving me, I'm not leaving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was sweet. That was that was a dream come true for me. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy to see how far we've come and I thank God because these years, the past two years mostly have been really good for us. Mm, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. You know, for, for, for my sake, sweetheart, mm -hmm. I think it was Prior to us going to Jamaica for our wedding now, it must have been one full, two years, two years since I've been to Jamaica it was before two years, this trip. Yeah. So it was wonderful for me to get back and, and, and hey guys, I, I hear, no, I don't hear, but I see in the comments that you say, oh, he looks, he's, or sorry, hears and looks, I can't say the right thing. He sounds like a Jamaican sometimes when he yeah. talks, <laughs> but I don't know if I 
do that anymore because it just came so natural for me back then. I spent a lot of time. I had my, my school breaks um, a couple of years ago um, during like June, July, August. I spent those full three months in Jamaica and to be honest before I met Kemal to my English wasn't so good. I, I don't know if I can say that it's good today. It's super um, good. I don't know. But um, so I mean um, developing my English in Jamaica also made me attached to the, um, the accent, obviously, which I love. It's the most Plus beautiful you have a Jamaican English. wife. Right, so. right. But n now, not being in Jamaica that much, I think I've lost a little bit of that accent. Um, you know, being in Sweden... In For the West, you're so affected with uh, English and, and North mm -hmm. American accent. So, yeah. but the day when we move to Jamaica, because that day will come. It will come. <laughs> I'm gonna get that. Back. Let's start with talking about arriving in Jamaica. How that was like. Yeah. Yes. How was that? <laughs> For me, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, when I landed. She I just, missed Jamaica 24-7, just, yeah. just so we're clear yeah. about that. If we not going to go into depth, but if it was easier for us to move to Jamaica today without considering migration yeah. laws and... and um, we would probably... We would have been in Jamaica, Jamaica right now. <laughs> yeah. But that's another story. Yeah. Right? yeah. So it felt good coming it back. It felt good coming back. Mm. I could feel as soon as I got in the airport, I was defrosting. My hands got warm and I'm like, yes, I'm back home. Mm. Your parents, they thought it was cool seeing all the paintings on the wall. And they're like, okay, we're Just here. Colors we're everywhere, here. right? You know, you know what? When we, um, when we landed or more so uh, packed our bags in the car and and so I observed my family a bit mm -hmm. they were they just looked so much at ease they looked at peace and mm -hmm. I could see that they were just even though we hadn't reached far yet I, I like we just I, came <laughs> we just came but I could see that they they were already just soaking in the atmosphere yeah. the laid-back atmosphere and the non-stressy atmosphere that is so yeah. typical here because everything yeah. just is at a more calm because i could see bo everything. both at least i don't know my brother yeah all of them my brother mom dad they were also observing jamaicans mm. and I, I just saw that their smiles were just like mm. Like the atmosphere is just contagious, and I just, I just felt they, they were totally mm. getting, getting the hang of Jamaica already by yeah. the airport. That was actually yeah. kind of cool. Too. Yeah. Just Listen, you see, Alex's father now is an Alex second. We're go, we're gonna go more to that later on, but yeah, mm. it's an Alex second. And then I guess we got home and everything to our Airbnb, beautiful Airbnb. I must say, they loved it. I loved it. We loved mm -hmm. it. Beautiful Airbnb, and it, the yeah, thing oh, is, it suited us perfectly. Perfect, perfect up the perfect. hills, not at the beach. Yeah, it wasn't distance from the so main local. Road we were sit, we were living amongst the locals, and that felt good. Mm. Yeah, so all that went well, and then I think it was like two days after, uh, they got to meet my family. Mm. Because we went first to just meet them. That's a little sad that we don't have any videos to actually show you when they yeah. met. Yeah, but um, you know, in certain situations like I don't know that, if we can find something and put in here. I'm uh, not but I'm, sure. I doubt it. I don't know. Because for me, I was all in the moment, to be, to be honest. Mm. I wanted to not be with like so. I wanted to be living in it. Mm -hmm. To just see how they would interact and so on. But that went fine. <laughs> Not fine, it went great. They were cute, they both were sides so though, cute. because I felt Kim and I, we were so relaxed in comparison to both our families. Yeah. They were so adorable because both, both sides, sides were, were just nervous. as nervous. <laughs> so You're, it was lovely to yeah. see, but it all worked fine. More Your dad was really outspoken though. Yeah. And yeah. my uncle, my Rasta uncle, was also outspoken. So they had this bond already. Mm. 
my mom was shy your mom was shy your brother was shy my brothers were shy mm. and my grandma she was my grandma was somewhere in between um oh, your grandma was kind of cool yeah. yeah but it was a lovely experience and now they are family forever like literally you remember how i hinted about alex's dad being a second alex okay alex's dad first of all he's a character he became viral on TikTok from the trip. On the TikTok videos, I'm gonna put the one that put is viral. I can't play it in this because then we'll be copyrighted. So I'll leave a screenshot and the link in the description to that video if you wanna watch it. It has over 4 million views. We were at the market and in that comment, people are telling me nice. that it wasn't me that took him to the market. It was him that took me there. Mm. So that's just to show you how much he enjoyed it. But we also had um, a neighbor uh, alongside us at Airbnb, like a bit up the hill. And you caught my dad. We, I mean, one day we just wondered where he where was, he right? Was. And you caught him coming down from the hill with an egg tray, right? Yeah, with a bag of apples and some a big egg tray. Yeah. The thing is, with him, same with Alex, they can't stay one place too long. They have to go and explore and meet people and talk to people. So I think that day he was like, hmm, let me go wandering around. And he was gone for like over an hour. And then I started to panic, like, where the, where is he? What would you do? Yeah, I meant a nice old man. Mm -hmm. He made the furniture in this house. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we have a good chat. Yeah. So do, do you like eggs? I love eggs. And I picked some apple. Apple? Jamaican, Jamaican apple. apple? Yeah. Nice. And we will see each other again. <laughs> oh, yeah, we will. Be. He's a good friend of mine and he wants you to meet him. Okay. Yeah. Nice. All right. <laughs> it's English. It got to the point where he was saying, like, he should have his own YouTube channel and we should call it Andrew Abroad. So right, right. He already planned he already his planned, own YouTube yeah. channel. <laughs> no, we're, it's, it's a joke, but honestly, it has a um, name is kind of, what do you say? Catchy. It's, uh, it's catchy. Thing. yeah um so andrew abroad youtube channel what do you guys think about that that i've seen my my dad <laughs> yeah so uh, we asked a, him let us know let my dad know what what would you think about an andrew abroad channel yeah especially mm. you guys who already saw that video and yeah, yeah. but we've asked uh your dad what mm -hmm. he thought about jamaica and that clip will insert now of course yes I'm Andreas, you can call me Andrew. <laughs> I used to be called Andrew when I abroad, so it's easier to say that. Yeah. Now we're going back to this lovely place, Portland. Mm -hmm. And we went there a couple of days ago, and it was so really nice. Mm -hmm. So we want to get, get back there. Yeah. So, what is that nice about Portland? Well, it's Come late. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. They're okay. just laughing. Uh, they always, they always Take laugh when I'm talking, <laughs> trying to talk English in the proper way. <laughs> so, no. so, what is so <laughs> nice no. about Portland? It's nature. It's a food. It's a river. It's no. a waterfall. It's a people. I think it's heaven on earth. Oh. That's why we're going back. I love it here, actually. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> why? Yeah. Oh, atmosphere. Uh, the contrast between everything. The light and darkness. Yeah. <laughs> heaven and earth. And everything is so strong. Every, every, every feeling is so strong yeah. when I'm here. Mm. Uh, I feel very alive. That's yeah. good. Yeah. That's what your son usually says. There was yeah. also another time. Uh, he. There were many times. There were many times, but we're talking about the, the ones that stand out. <laughs> 
there was another time when he discovered that we were living just just like a minute or two by foot away from a church in the neighborhood and he loves going to church so he took it upon himself that okay he's gonna go to church on Sunday one Sunday he got dressed and everything and went to church, mm -hmm. loved it. Mm -hmm. We have a clip of that, that also we're gonna insert now. <laughs> <laughs> See you. So. Mm -hmm. look nice. Thank you, thanks you, a lot. Where are you going? Ah, I'm going to the church. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the Baptist church <laughs> and I will pray for our God. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Have a good have a good time. You I will. Thank you. Thank you. Can you let us know how the visit was to the church? Yeah. Right. Did you take your 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 um, donations with you? Yeah, I did. Great. I don't want to tell you how much no, I, I, no, I no, took. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's a surprise. Yes. <laughs> See you around. Okay. All right. Have fun. Right. My dad is back from church. My dad is back from church, guys. It was a nice ceremony. It was. Back a little, my lovely all dad. All right, all right, I do. As you tell me to do. So what did you think about the, the church visit? It was happiness and joy. And... Uh, was it a big difference from... from uh, Sweden, the Norwegian church that you go to? It was some differences. Uh, it was, it was uh, some more lightning music, some more joy music and the rhythm. Mm. And, uh, more beats and standing up. Uh, a little, yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. It was. It was actually. I think it was what I had expected. Mm. Yeah. It was a very long ceremony though. Mm. <laughs> so I'm, just, hu I'm hungry now. <laughs> we just came home. You did, all right. Yeah. And uh, the, the theme was about holiness in life. And that is important, of course. Holiness yeah. in life. Okay. In the name of God. Mm. All right. If you go in, you'll see that we bought some some food. So you can have some. I will. I will. Thank you. Yeah, guys. Um, that's my lovely dad. I love him. He's a yeah, he's a character. Too. Generally, we uh, we try to show them Jamaica, not the touristy Jamaica, no. the real Jamaica, real Jamaica. local Jamaica. Uh, and I think we did quite a good job we yeah. uh, a lot of road trips we went up to blue mountain we went to falls rivers mm -hmm. um they the falls to, he liked got to go he... to the markets yeah. try the food the fruits everything that's just yeah. jamaica um, mm. he went yeah. scuba diving also my dad went scuba diving and actually on that day it was at um, james bond beach which is owned by Chris Blackwell. I don't know if you know, not everyone might know who Chris Blackwell is. Yeah, Maybe the older generation but, does yeah, more than but, the other. Um, Chris Blackwell, Bob Marley. Um, Producer. Some of it. Yeah. <laughs> me, Chris Black. For me, growing up with a dad that played Bob Marley albums a lot, me, myself, sitting in my. my my teenage room, listening to reggae and, and, and so growing up with that. Meeting Chris Blackwell, just, he just came up out of the blue. Yeah. At the beach, in his cool Levi's jeans and his uh, relaxed shirt. I just saw from 100 meters, like, geez, that, that's him. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't get starstruck that much, but ever. <laughs> but seeing him uh, and to actually be able to talk to him uh, before my dad came and interrupted, <laughs> um, yeah, that was that was cool. Um, really, really.
really cool. We had a wedding also, guys. <laughs> what do you think about the wedding, babe? Come on. Like, I that day, I didn't want it to end. I feel like, honestly, that day was the best day of my life. Literally the best day of my life. Oh. And I feel like I would want to live that day many more times. The wedding was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Mm. It started out with a little shower before, while well, I was getting dressed and my makeup was being done. So I was a little worried that it was going to be a rainy day. Mm. <laughs> but my friends, Shan and Shanoya, they, you know, they tried to make me, just reassure me that, nah, it's going to be fine. And, you know, shower on your wedding day is a blessing. And so, and by the time I was putting on my dress, it just ceased and the sun was out mm. and it was a perfect day like i think if it was just sunny that day it probably would have been a bit <laughs> too sunny and our really? pictures probably wouldn't even look as good as they did mm. so i want to thank my uh hair and makeup team they did a good job they did an awesome job and or photographer like sun as you if you if you know Lexon you know he's a star at what he does and since Lexon was just starting out with photography back in his younger days I was like someday that man has to take my wedding photos hmm. yeah yeah he's a real pro yeah and Definitely. I'm happy that worked out mm. it was fun <laughs> it was fun. it was fun shooting also because he I think for, sorry not to he interrupt made, you but mm -hmm. that was probably my favorite part of the whole wedding mm. shooting with him it was he he's so good like it's so fun he made it fun and mm. I felt so young and in love and I'm wearing my husband I felt mm. like I was on clouds it felt like Beautiful. a fairy tale yeah and Alex he was in it this was us all the time like. <laughs> <laughs> and every photo was us smiling that yeah. was what showed you that and we did also another highlight was the chapel that we got married in that stone chapel a beautiful chapel and beautiful just love the location also mm. uh, just trees and green leaves and pure nature yeah. if you know us well our wedding spoke us and that was good oh, everything about good, our wedding so. like is Kem and Alex mm -hmm. um, yeah okay guys so now we're putting jamaica aside now and we're in the present and now we have come to if you've been waiting this whole time to hear what the future plans are rest assured this is time to know all right so <laughs> okay so we feel like we have come to a point in our life, in our relationship, in our marriage now, but let me just say relationship. We've closed the chapter now we're husband and wife. What's the next step? No, I'm just kidding. The next steps, but the next step, because yeah. one foot at a time, right? Um, so we have decided now it's time to build our home. Mm -hmm. And that's what we'll be focusing on in these coming months. Right. But the twist is... We've been is, going back so m back and forth for a year or two how we're supposed to settle our home situation in Sweden. Yeah. Because we have some maybe Jamaica plans in the future, right? There's no, maybe. There's no maybe. There's no maybe. So we, we, have just, plans. we just want to think smart. Yeah. Well, the twist is that it's not just any home like a big grand massive mansion. A mansion here. No, we're building no. a smaller home um so if you remember if you've been with us for a long time there's a time we were in spain and we spoke about that we found van life interesting and we wanted to do van life at one point obviously that's not really gonna work now but it's just to show you that we are people who don't need too much to survive, right? Less is more. Less is more. And one of the main reasons why we're doing this smaller home is, well, not one, but there's a lot of reasons. But one of them is that it gives us space to pursue that dream that we have for Jamaica in like 
we say is if it probably feels far right now, but it's not far. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if we would have built a bigger house and um, have to pay down mortgage, especially yeah, now we when... we will be stuck in utility bills, We'll be stuck in bills, um, which doesn't give us room to buy land and to build a house. In Jamaica and mm. to live the type of life that we want in Jamaica so that's one we're not going to be tied to any um, mortgage and any high bills um, second thing is that if we had a bigger home I plan to keep on with my studies and I think next year I'll take a break again from working and just focus on studies which means that I won't have a high income as I do right now so it probably be just Alex that has to pay most of the stuff and taking that whole year out, we can save enough again when we have to pay all those bills for a bigger home and, and, and plan for Jamaica. And I think one of the most important things is that we have freedom. Like we aren't tied here. If we just say, all right, babe, what do you say next month we take some vacation or you know what I mean? We're not. We have more time and resources to put on stuff in life that we want to prioritize yeah. we don't want to be enslaved by bills yeah easy yeah said. For, um, mm -hmm. we're gonna build this house really close to Andrew abroad my dad <laughs> yeah. my mom mom and dad so we'll have them around too mm -hmm. uh, which is actually gonna be lovely yeah if you're for, a Swedish person many... watching this, you'll probably be like, oh, that's so un Swedish too, because it is. Right. Because yeah. in Sweden, kids don't live with their parents. We're actually so building close, this, this little house on their land. We're really building them on their, on their yeah. land. <laughs> so, but yeah, I think after they've been to Jamaica and they see how families operate there, like a family most often lives mm. together, I think they see that, okay, Sweden is a little bit too segregated when it comes on to how people live here so I think their their minds got open to it plus they know about so, the plans yeah. that we want and I know they want to come back to Jamaica but yeah. we probably spend a longer time there so we building a house in Jamaica I they can they won't say no to that Absolutely. and they didn't say no <laughs> yeah um, oh yeah so um, mm, so what what's happening now they're actually digging um, the contractor is digging Prepare, 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 prepare. <laughs> preparing the, 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 the groundwork for the foundation. Um, yeah, things are moving forward. Yeah, so we so will take you on, on right. this, yeah. this journey. Yeah, we try to show some clips and videos here and there, what's going yeah. on. And, and hopefully this is done by the end or no, nah, the begin, beginning, of next, beginning of next year. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for maybe a few, they'll probably probably say that we sound crazy, but trust me, those of you who get it, you get it. <laughs> Did we say how big or how small the house is? It's going to be 30 square meters. Yeah, which I think... You can what look is it that, up like what is in, in square feet. 450 square feet, I don't feet maybe? I, I don't know. I, I don't I, know. So it is a smaller house, um, but it will have everything that a regular house has and a regular house totally. does. And it will be very homey and very cozy. Very homey and very cozy. Yeah. For me, yeah. a home should be You homey. just have to follow along us yeah. on this journey and see for yourself. Yeah, just see for yourself how, what, how, what, how it looks. What and we really mean and so. Right, right. Um, yeah, so that's where we are right now. Um, we'll be making our home. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited to see what the future holds ahead of that and mm. so on mm. and so and i think maybe in our next video there's something else that we're like we want to be settled first that we want to share with you so when that is like settled and finished then we'll share it in our next video so if you're really curious to hear what that is please stick around subscribe so you know you what keep following our journey and see what's next for us and so so um we'll see you guys uh next week have a good one thank you for watching and return on your post notification bell and leave a comment thank you bye bye